Nice. <laughs> okay, so we are on technically day two. Well, day three, technically day two for us, full day. So we are going into Halloween Horror Nights tonight. We're doing the RIP tour. We're I think we're gonna head to the park for about five just so we can do stay and scream. And um the RIP tour starts at eight. So what we did this morning was we didn't want to go near the parks because we thought we'll just knack at ourselves. So we went shopping. And I think I already did an overview, but this is my help. <laughs> okay, so I thought I would just kind of go through what I have so far. There's been a lot of stuff that I've been waiting all year to buy uh, because I knew that we would pro most likely be coming over here. And I thought, you know, I'm not going to order it because I can't get it at home or it's way more expensive at home than it is here. So I have been saving up to do this for a long time, so don't judge me. <laughs> this, a lot of this stuff is would would be if you put up its normal value and added it all together would be really expensive but the discounts and stuff like that that we get over here compared to what we have at home is just ludicrous. So I went to the Morphe store in Florida Mall and I got a couple of extra brushes from the Jaclyn Hill collection because these are two of my favourites so it is the GH42 and the GH41 and I didn't realise they did House of Lashes lashes, so I actually got the Iconic Lights and the Iconic Minis. Yeah, Iconic Minis. Just to try. And I seen this as I was walking in. This is the 3503 Fierce by Nature. I'm going to compare this to the palettes that I have at home and it may end up in a giveaway. I don't know yet. Because if it's too similar to everything that I've already got, there's really no point in me keeping it. So I may end up giving that away. I've got two brushes here, so it's the M465 and the M705. These are just brushes. I don't like black. I don't like buying brushes online because a lot of the time you have no idea what they are actually like. So I got two of these wee ones. It's the M160, one sixteenth. And they're teeny, 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 teeny point on it. It's perfect. I was actually going to look for the Jeffree Star one, but I totally forgot. Uh, even though most of his stuff was um, actually sold out. So this is the Suva, is it Suva Beauty? These Hydrofix liners were all sold out. The, this was like one of the only colours that was there. I really wanted to get a white one because I've been missing something like that. I'm going to have to get something somewhere else. But this is just the purple one and it's basically those sort of neon pigments and they're water activated. So I'm really looking forward to trying out that. I know I had to get the Jeffree Star version of the uh, Set and Refresh Mist. It's Starberry scented and I was going to need one of these anyway. So I decided to just get the Jeffree Star one. I always need these so I just bought an extra one. I got the Get Lit uh, Highlighter. I got two liquid lipsticks. One in Schoolgirl and one in Taunt. I got a brown ish sort of like liner I, I, they're in chippy and frenchy and then the coconut one is a white liner like eyeliner so for michael kors i got this little sort of money purse here which is just kind of like the smallest purse that they have then i got this little thing here because i do have the big one so i got this little guy so he just opens up like that and then he has a wee zip there, which has got like a little sort of change pocket in it. It's just sometimes I find if I'm taking like my wee bag places, I can't really fit my big purse in it and fit everything else in. So I thought I needed a little purse and I love the colour grey and I love the way the colour grey goes with this neon or uh, yellow even. Up here I got a sports bag from Under Armour. I actually thought they would have more, but I don't know, I guess they just didn't have much stock today. Three little vest tops because I love Under Armour stuff. And then the kind of my two favourite things. I don't know. I think all my Michael Kors things are my favourite things. But this phone case here. I really don't know if I can get used to this. Although I love it. But I love the phone case itself just because it goes with the bag. But I got that a really good deal on that. I think that these two things here. They were supposed to be over $100 each. And I got like this for like £30 and this for like 35 or something. Or dollars even. So I mean... $35 for a Michael Kors purse. Yes, please. This was $33, so that's why I decided to get it. It's cheaper than the Apple one that I've got on my phone right now, or I did have on my phone. And then there is this. I was actually maybe going to do a review on this, but I don't know. I absolutely adore this. This is the Deacon 
Deacon, no, sorry, this is the Beacon Medium Nylon Backpack, I think it's called. It's just got these little sort of clips at the front. It opens up, if I can get it open with one hand, into sort of like a nice big open, just normal backpack. It's got a few pockets and that in there. Wee zippy pocket on the front, zippy pockets on the side, and it's got sort of like a chain style backpack, and then it's just like belt buckle type thing so yeah I, I knew immediately when I saw that I wanted it like you can get it in black and you can get it in white but I absolutely just love the neon color I love like the neon with the gray and so that is my haul I think that's everything um I got obviously my these sandals from Skechers these are so cute don't mind my feet some people don't like feet. There's my other Michael Kors bag down there that I got a couple of years ago. We went to Bath and Body Works. And I'm probably going to do a haul of that when I get home. Where's my other trainers? There they are. So these are my Converse, my new Converse that I got. I absolutely adore these. Look at those. They're gorgeous. They're so comfy as well. They're actually more cushioned than normal Converse, so they're a lot easier to wear. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. Look at this view. Like, I mean, I told you the story about the fact that we got upgraded and all that. And I'm so glad. <laughs> I never did that in my life. I'm so glad we found ants in the room so that we managed to swing this upgrade. After everything that's happened with this holiday, I think it just sort of sweetened it a little bit and helped us kind of not be so mad that, of everything that happened. I look an absolute state. My fake tan's worn off my face and, yeah, yeah. I'm not wearing any makeup today. I'm wearing, wearing it later on tonight when we go back out. But So like I said, we're doing the RIP tour and I... I think that I'll get some really good footage in that. You're still not allowed to film in the houses. That's like a media event thing only. But if you do want to see what happens in the houses, I would definitely recommend going over to Tim's channel. He's called Tim Tracker and or The Tim Tracker. And he does the most amazing videos. And if you like like Florida vlogs and stuff like that, he is definitely the person to watch. I think they're expecting a baby, so it might get a wee bit baby orientated. But I'm sure that he'll still be doing his thing as well. The all the footage of the houses that they've got they've got from like opening night so yeah so I will take the camera along and we'll get some good footage tonight and I will hopefully I'll try and check in with you if not it'll just be sort of background stuff and I'll maybe voice over some stuff for that when I get home to explain what it is that we're doing so yeah not too bad so far we're getting there we've done a lot of shopping in the first two days we don't shop like this every day don't get me wrong it's just that you know we knew a lot of stuff that we wanted to get done and we didn't want to go into the park straight away so that's why we've been out and about doing a lot of shopping so yeah like i said we save up for this for like one to two years just kind of so that we can splurge a little bit so yeah i will speak to you guys in a little bit Oh, 
in some way just make sure you ask them it is always at their discretion they are free to say no to you their job is to scare people not to always post your pictures though usually they will say yes uh, that also goes for the tour as well uh, you guys did pay a lot of money for this we want to say nice and special and exclusive so we are come to our first house for which I have one question for you guys who are you gonna call Ghostbusters! exactly is there anyone who has not seen 1984's Ghostbusters Perfect. That. <laughs> so this house is extremely true to that original film, and again, it is the original 1984, not any of the sequels or the remakes of that movie. Uh, we worked very, very closely with Columbia Pictures and Sony to design it exactly as it would have appeared for that film, to the point that they sent us proton packs from the set of the new film, Ghostbusters 2020, just to make sure that we got ours exactly. As we're heading up, it's going to get very tight up this exit here. Stick to a single file line right behind me. Okay, so well, we have a wee second where we're just going to walk it through towards another tier zone. We have a little minute before we're going to get to it. So we just went through Ghostbusters and Stranger Things. And I have to say, Ghostbusters is pretty awesome. Um, not a massive amount of tears though, but I mean, it's not really a film that warrants a lot of tears. So, but Stranger Things was awesome. And if you've seen the show Stranger Things, then you're definitely going to like it. So, yeah, I think. I have no idea where we're headed now, but I'll obviously give like a little sort of review if I can when we come out on it. But oh, it's not too bad. I'm really blurry. Really blurry. Oh, okay, that's a little bit better. So yeah, two houses down. Like eight more. Thank <laughs> you. 